let's talk about it, right? So where did you mm-hmm. get this passion um, for nutrition? Where did you get this passion for taking care of your body? I believe that when you take care of your body, because we are indirectly connected to the environment, the environment changes. So when I became mm-hmm. a vegan, right, when I became a vegetarian, it came with a set of educational tools that I knew that I had to be equipped with because if I told somebody I was this, I was automatically going to be asked, why? Mm. Why are you drinking that? Yeah. Oh, you know, mm. and I had to really get like comfortable with my skin because I was always mm-hmm. ostracized a lot sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. So I told you that I went mm. to New Orleans like when I was in college. That's when I became like a vegan, vegetarian, like right around mm-hmm. the time. So all my old food I used to eat, all them old customs, the crawfish, the, mm. the, 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 you know, the crab, the shrimp, they were literally looking at me like I was crazy. Literally every mm. 20 minutes I was with my, my old folks, they were like, oh, here, you eat that vegan stuff. You better eat that, boy. Oh, it, you know, he a vegan. You know what that mm. is? You know, like just yeah. that peer pressure. Talk about growing up down south right and and for holidays you have your pig feet you have your ham you have your baked macaroni and cheese right so you have all of these foods that i hate to say it but unfortunately are causing us these cancers high blood pressure diabetes all of these elements these chronic diseases that are actually preventable and reversible right so growing up eating all of that food and all of a sudden you stop eating that food. So you you get this association that you're better. You think you're better than, you know, your family or it, it's weird um, that, that you're not eating the same way as your family members. So, yeah, it, it's been a journey. It's been... Um-